The Detroit Lions just concluded day six of organized team activities. The fellas will have a little bit of a break, then they will come back next week for mandatory minicamp, and then the week after that for the final organized team activity before they break for the summer. And we've been hearing conflicting reports sometimes about risers and fallers, who's up, who's down, who's looking good, and who needs to shake the rust off uh, at minicamp or at OTAs. And while it seems like Jared Goff has been doing okay and there's nothing to worry about, today, today he went and got picked off by Alex Anzalone of all people. Now, Anzalone had a career year last year for the Detroit Lions, which in turn got him a three-year deal with the Detroit Lions for $18 million, I believe. But let's check out this play from Jared Goff and we'll break this thing down. So this is coming out of organized team activities. The lone shot that we got today, I'm telling you what, we are fiending for some football here. All right, so here's Jared Goff. Let's let this thing play. Then we'll break it down. Jared Goff over the middle, right to Alex Anzalone, and he is off to the races. Now, at first I was trying to figure out who is Jared Goff throwing to? Who is he throwing to? So I'm going to, who is Jared Goff throwing to? Over the middle. And you can see here, because you're going to see Jamison Williams walk back inside the photo. And I initially thought that's who he was throwing to. But as he doesn't even see Alex Anzalone. Right there, you can see that that person right there is Amara St. Brown. Number 14, he was trying to get it to him. And Alex Anzalone picks it right off. And you'll see Jamison Williams walk into the frame late. There's J-Mo right there. So at first, I thought he was trying to get it to J-Mo. But he was trying to throw it to St. Brown instead. So look, let's let it play again. Jared Goff, man, over the middle, right? Look at look at the height, though. Look at Alex get up and snag that thing. Alex came to ball, man. Look at Alex. Look, look at the height, though. He went up there and got that thing. He went and got it. There's J-Mo right there, but St. Brown is right off the screen looking to snag it. Alex Anzalone, man, is looking real good, real good. And I know, and, and I don't know if Jared Goff even saw him. And this is this is not the Jared Goff that we've come to know last year. I don't know if it's it's Goff is a little too relaxed or he's not relaxed enough, but he threw it. He tried to get it over him, but Anzalone, he got to put some more air on that ball as Anzalone just goes up and gets it. He just goes up and gets it, and that is that. So Jerry Goff, man, got to shake the rust off, organize team activities. Not anything to worry about. I'm still sure about that. But like I said, these guys have been gone for months, but it's time for Goff to shake the rust off. The last thing we need is for golf to return to the forum of 2021 and have every, his play was one of the reasons that we were able to have so much success. So I know, and, and I keep making a joke about this because it seems like when guys get married and have babies, NFL players, then they're not playing the same. I think, I think he's getting married this year or sometime in the near future, but I wonder if he got married already because he seems to be pretty off this organized team activity session. So let me know in the comments below. Alex Anzalone going up there snagging it. Jared Goff has been kind of off these past couple of, of days. Nothing to be worried about, but we don't have a lot of time before uh, he got to shake that off. He's going to have to come back for training camp and, and get this thing going. But I have no doubt that Jared Goff will get right, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.